Let's look at an easy way to make a really simple, straightforward stockinette cardigan band. The main place I cover this in my books is the Answer Ladies Machine Knitting Notebook. It's in the Create a Cardigan section. This band does not require a river and it's suitable for absolutely all flatbed knitting machines. I will place a link to the knitting notebook in the program notes for this video. You're looking now at the basic version of the cardigan band. The band may also be made using Fair Isle, but that requires a little bit of gauge adjustment, so we'll talk about that in a different video. The bands do not have to have buttonholes, but they may, and those may be made on the knitting machine or the sewing machine. In this video, we'll just cover the knitting of the bands and cover buttonhole options in other videos. I'm going to demonstrate just on a swatch, so let's pretend the hem is what's at the bottom of the picture, the sweater hem. You're looking at the sweater front towards the left of the picture and the neckline at the top of the picture. The arrow is pointing to the band we will knit. And here's the spot where that band joins the main part of the center front. This kind of band is knitted after the two cardigan fronts are completed and off the machine. There are two ways to select the number of needles that we need for the band, and one of them depends on knowing the fabric gauge for the main knitting. My main knitting came out seven stitches per inch. Even if we use the other method of selecting the needle count, it's very helpful to use this method to cross-reference and make sure that what you're getting is probably going to work, and I'll show you all that in a minute. It's best to knit the band at one whole stitch size smaller than the main knitting. I used nine for the main knitting, so I'm turning down to eight. This stops droopiness in the bands. We now want to hang the edge of the sweater front on the right number of needles for the band. You can either hold it up to the machine and estimate what is a comfortable number of needles and hang it. Or you can select the number of needles mathematically. My swatch is five inches long, not including cast on and bind off, which I'm not going to include because I just did the demo version, not ones that I would use in a finished project. The stitch gauge of my main knitting was seven per inch. So I multiply the length of my cardigan front, five in this case, by seven, and it tells me that I probably want to put 35 needles into work. What I do in real life is both things. I do the math, and then I hold up the cardigan to the machine and see if that does look to be a comfortable number of needles, and then commence to doing what you see me doing, hanging the edge of the cardigan front it's sideways now, but it'll go down the center front on the needles. What you see me doing here is making sure I am catching one whole stitch and that the tool goes in between that edge column of stitches and the next column of stitches over. This creates the neatest and strongest way of joining the band, in my opinion. Rather than working from one end to the other, or the neckline to the hem is another way of putting it, I find that dividing the space over and over, hanging the center of any interval, gets you the most evenly hung edge. It is extremely important that each needle goes in through a unique and separate opening. If two needles go through one opening, the stitches won't work correctly. So as you come close to finishing hanging the edge, you must double check on the last few stitches to make sure that each one is in fact in a separate opening. Make it easier to knit the first band row by bringing the needles all the way forward and knit across. My carriage would normally begin at the right, but I put it on the left and threaded the yarn in from that side so that the camera and you could get a view. Now knit all the band rows. This can technically be any number you want, but traditionally bands should be from half inch to one inch wide. 
So if you get 10 rows per inch, do you need 10 rows? No, you need 20 because half of the band will be on the inside of the fabric and half will be on the outside. So in other words, double the number of rows needed for the length in your row gauge. To clarify a little bit, say I want a half inch band and my row gauge is 10 rows per inch. I would actually knit 10 rows. That will make an inch of knitting, but when I fold it so that the band is doubled, it will create a half inch. This is the simplest form of this band. There is also one that has one large row to create a natural fold in the fabric, and that is described in the Answer Ladies Machine Knitting Notebook. Now we pick up the same area that was originally hung to begin the band and hang the same stitches on the working needles, and I tend to do it in the same manner, starting left and right and dividing my space. It is not necessary to count if you do this. You can get it nice and evenly hung just using this technique. Here it's all neatly hung, and at present the band is actually underneath the area we're working on. We're looking at the inside of the sweater. You may just bind off now if you want, but that will be binding off two sets of stitches together. I prefer to knit one row first so there's only one set of stitches in the needles. And for that row, I turn the dial up to a larger stitch size. In this case, I turned it up two whole numbers and also pulled the needles forward to knit back from hold because there's some stress on the machine trying to knit off two sets of stitches at one time and the larger stitch size and knitting back from hold facilitate matters. All that's left to do is bind off and I'm binding off around the gate pegs as a first choice, although any method is really acceptable, but this gives a nice chain stitch. After the last stitch is complete, break or snip the yarn and pull it through the final stitch. There I'm breaking it, pulling it, and now the fabric, which is one side down the center of the front, lifts off the machine. Give a lengthwise tug to the newly made band stitches, and there it is.